they actually shut the mines down. They closed their one down where I was working over not counting. And there was no there wasn't no choice about it. It was just here's your here's your time, you know, you're done. In Kentucky, coal has always been a traditional source of income for many. With its decline, the region has seen massive loss of jobs. President Obama has designated Southern Kentucky a promise zone, an initiative to expand economic opportunities in the region. With the declining coal industry, will this help turn things around? Major industry here is and has been coal mining for a, a number of generations, and that coal mining industry has been impacted by a lower demand. As a result, this region has lost, uh, you know, up to 7,000 jobs a year. It's caused this region to reinvent itself, to find another opportunity, if you will, and one of those opportunities has to do with distance-based earning. There's somewhere between 300 and 400 people that have, have been employed through the, the Kentucky Teleworks and Teleworks USA program over the course of several years and we're actually continuing to grow that. We started the training facility here in the hub where the first two classes were absolutely full. We're getting ready to start our third class. We're trying to address as many needs as we can. While reinvention is happening at the top level, the struggle is real for many individuals who were affected by the changing times. Randy Hawkham, who lives in Hazard, Kentucky, was working in the coal mining industry for six years before he lost his job. Hazard City is one of the cities in Perry County, which is part of the Promise Zone area in southeastern Kentucky. Hazard City back in 2013 had a population of about 5,400, and between the period of 2009 to 2013, about 24% of the people living there were below poverty level. Uh, the period, that was rough. A lot of my friends, they lost more than I did. I mean, some of them had houses, you know, they weren't paid off, vehicles and stuff. Me, myself, I went out and bought a truck and then turned around and got laid off. Just to move off from here, you know, leave my friend, and family and everything, no. Nah, got too, you know, there's too much stuff holding me right here right now. With limited options, many chose to leave the region to find opportunities. But despite the tough times, Randy is determined to remain and make this his home. Now he's training to become a lineman in the Hazard Community and Technical College. It's actually done a lot. I mean, I, I learned a lot through the program and everything, and it's going to keep me where I can stay. Hazard Community and Technical College offers retraining programs for out-of-work coal miners and other members of the community. In recent years, they've seen a surge in ex-coal miners who've decided to retrain themselves. We're seeing a large boom in enrollment in the technical programs. They're enrolling in classes like air conditioning technology, welding, electricity, and one of the more popular programs has been our electrical lineman program. The guys know that for their families and for themselves, they have to get retrained. They know that if they want to stay in Southeast Kentucky, they have to learn a new trade. They have to reinvent themselves, and so that's what they're doing. Hazard Community and Technical College has proven to be beneficial to Randy and many others. The community is not giving up, though, as they are turning to different ways to revitalize the economy, most notably entrepreneurship. They are taking that risk and taking that chance, whereas before, maybe they were not willing to take that risk because they had that large company there that they could depend on and they knew they had that large wage there. But now you're seeing more uh, restaurants and more small businesses, online businesses, because we do have that option now with broadband that we can reach out and the mountains aren't the barrier that they once were. We definitely have this sense of spirit, this strong sense of spirit that we won't be knocked down that we will be resilient and sometimes I like to think of Kentuckians as being um, as strong as the mountains that are around them. The Kentuckian spirit, the sense of resilience and perseverance can certainly be felt here. Randy is still holding on to an optimistic mindset, hoping things 
will become better. You got, we, you know, just gotta enjoy it. You know, even though you got bad times, you still gotta find the good part of it. And that's what I try to do. I mean, I just try to find the good part. We, I mean, in the end, jobs might come and go, but you still do got your family. As long as you don't lose that, then you can always get another job. You can always take training and everything. So that's basically what I looked at. Does the rest of Southeast Kentucky share Randy's optimism? Well, some do, which is why they've got together to form the Kentucky Highlands Investment Corporation. Their aim to bring big corporations into the state to create jobs and help the residents of this region get back on track. We think a sustainable business is the best investment we can make in uh, creating employment and maintaining employment and bringing revenue into the region. The Investment Corporation is trying to attract more people into entrepreneurship, believing that it can in turn create employment and turn things around. We're looking at trying to get more curriculum into our, our uh, community colleges around entrepreneurship as a career option. And uh, we just need more people to start businesses. Think what we could do if we could get 10% of these 13,000 businesses to hire one person next year. And then do that again next year and the next year. We could fill this hole back up over time. Kentucky Highlands Investment Corporation is hoping to attract more people to stay in the region. And we contracted with the University of Kentucky Extension, and they went out in all eight of the counties and had input, community input, and they really uh, focused in each county trying to get some young people, you know, to come out and say, hey, where would you like your community to go, and what can we do to entice you to get an education and come back here or get involved in a trade or profession. It's a very emotional issue and there's a real sense of pride in the communities. Again, Kentuckians are not losing hope. They're fighting hard to keep the region back on track and hoping that the future will be better.